every Amazon seller dreams about ranking organically for their main keywords. With a high enough organic rank, you'll see increased sales, increased profit, and a lower attack cost. And what most sellers don't know though is that organic rank is entirely influenceable. It isn't just set by Amazon based on random factors that we're not aware of. Amazon uses an algorithm called A9 to rank your product. And the way this algorithm works is it tries to rank the products that will produce the most revenue the highest so that Amazon can make more money in commissions. The way it figures this out is it ranks products based on four things, conversion rate, click through rate, sales volume, and the keywords present in the listing. There are other factors that come into play, but these are the four main ones. The reason it works this way is pretty simple. If you have a good click through rate, once you rank organically, you're gonna get a lot of clicks. And if you have a good conversion rate, you're gonna be able to turn these clicks into customers, therefore making Amazon money. And if you have high sales volume on a keyword, it proves you're relevant for it and people are actively buying your product after seeing you in the search results for this keyword. And then finally, if you have this keyword in your listing, that means that you're relevant enough to index for this keyword. This is how Amazon's formula works. And once you understand these metrics and how to improve them, you can game the system and make your product appeal enough to the algorithm so that it pushes it up organically. At AI Hello, we figured out the four-step process for doing this, which I'll take you through right now. Guys, before continuing this video, I wanted to tell you about the free offer we have at AI Hello. So at AI Hello, we offer full service, which includes listing content, SEO, catalog management, PPC, software for PPC and everything you can imagine. And I'm actually gonna start offering this for free. I'm rolling this offer out to a maximum of three people per month and it's gonna last one month. You can get your listings done, you can get your PPC fixed, you can get your products listed, you can do whatever you want in this month. The only conditions are you have to be US, Canada or Europe based and you have to be spending at least $10,000 per month on ads. There is no agreement, no minimum contract period. You don't have to convert to paid after this trial. You get to do what you want and it's just a free month. You can get listings done, you can fix your PPC, and you can fix any catalog issues you have. If you're interested in this offer, go to www.aihello.com, book a call with us, and mention this video. Right, back to the video now. Step number one is to make the best listing content possible, and this will improve your CTR and CVR, which will help you rank better organically and also improve the performance of your PPC. Step number two is to conduct keyword research to find keywords where you're almost ranked top 10, or to find keywords where you're performing better than the average for the market in terms of click-through rate and conversion rate, which can be done through Helium 10 and the Search Query Performance Report. Step number three is to insert these keywords in your titles, bullet points, and backend search terms. And this helps Amazon allow your product to index for these search terms and also shows it that you're relevant for it. Step number four is to run exact match campaigns for these keywords with high bids and high placement boost for top of search. And this way you can increase your ad spend on these keywords, therefore increasing the sales volume you're driving, which will show Amazon that you're relevant for these keywords and you're actively producing sales and therefore commission checks for them through these keywords, which will give them enough incentive to push you up in the organic ranks. Now let's actually break down this process into more actionable steps. For the first step, we spoke about improving your click-through rate and your conversion rate by updating your listing content. For click-through rate, we have a few main levers we can pull on. Main images, titles, prices, and reviews. Reviews and prices aren't considered listing content, but generally more reviews and lower prices will drive more clicks. In terms of listing content, we have titles and main images. Four titles are not as big of a lever mover as the three other factors, so I'm just gonna disregard it for now to simplify things. And for main images, this can actually affect your click-through rate a lot, so it's something you wanna focus on. On the screen right now, you have a few examples of main images that perform well. These images tend to do a few things right. One of them is that they take up almost all the white space that they can. So bigger sizes, adding extra things next to the main packaging to take up extra space, adding some samples of the product. Like if you're selling a food product, you can put some of the food product next to the packaging to increase the amount of white space taken up. If you're selling a supplement, you can put some of your supplement or even the ingredients of the supplement next to the bottle to make the image stand out more and take up more white space. Another thing they tend to do well is they look unorthodox in a way. Like they could be facing a different direction than the other main images. They might be a different color than the other main images. The packages might be a different shape. They might just have a completely different look than the other images. So good main images tend to grab attention and this comes from decreasing the white space, adding extra things into the images like food samples or ingredients or just being unorthodox. Like make your product face the opposite direction uh, angle your main image in a weird way, add some extra things into the main image, have a different color than everyone else, and so on. These things increase your click-through rate. And once you do this and you focus on getting more reviews and having a lower price, you should see the overall click-through rate go up. 
a pretty sizable amount, which will help a lot with your organic rank. There are also a few tools you can use to test your main images. One of them is PicFu. Basically, you just put a few variations of your images and people vote on which one they're most likely to click on. So stuff like this can be useful and you can do some research pretty quickly. And if you have 10 different variations you're looking at, you could narrow them down to two or three that you can test with Amazon and see which one performs best. Now, in terms of improving your conversion rate, you want to produce listing content that's persuasive. And the way you produce persuasive listing content is you research your customer very well and you understand what they need to hear before they buy. Generally, there are only five things a customer wants to hear before they buy your product. And the point of doing research is to figure out what these five things are. So what we do is we go in and we read all of our reviews. We read our competition's reviews and we try to figure out who's buying, why they're buying, what they bought before this, what they like about this product more than what they bought previously, what they dislike about this product, what they're scared about before buying this product. And then we distill all of this down into five points. And we use these five points to create the A plus content, the bullet points, and the listing images. Once you know which points you're trying to present in your listing content, you have to do it in a way that's visually appealing, which means using infographics, using lifestyle images, and just creating good looking graphics and images like the ones you see on the screen right now. Once your listings are fully optimized and you have good main images, good prices, a good number of reviews and good listing content, you're going to start to see improvements in your CTR and CVR, which will help with both your organic and your advertising performance. And with this, you completed the first step of my four step process. For step number two, you need to find the keywords that you're actually going to rank for because everyone knows that they want to rank, but they don't know which keywords they could realistically expect to rank on. So they end up wasting their time on keywords where they're never going to make that much progress. The keywords you usually find are easier to rank for are keywords where you're almost already ranked, which means you're ranking somewhere between position 10 and 30 and keywords where you are performing better than market in terms of conversion rate and click-through rate. For almost ranked keywords, you can just find these from Helium 10. Just log in, go to Cerebro, put your ASIN in, then just add a filter for ranked between 10 and 30 and add a filter for removing branded keywords, right? And once you have these, just go in and remove anything that has low search volume. And then you'll be left with a list of keywords that you could potentially use for step three and four after just going through them briefly to make sure they're all relevant. And you can just use them after that for step three and four of this process. For keywords where you're performing better than market, you can usually find these in the search query performance report under brand analytics. Once you're in the search query performance report, all you're going to do is add an ASIN so you can see all of the search terms it has. And then you can go in and look for specific search terms where you have a higher share of clicks and impressions, which means you have a better CTR than everyone. And you have a higher share of sales than clicks, which means you have a better conversion rate than everyone, which are again, both positive signals for ranking organically. Once you've done this and you've completed the almost rank keywords research through Helium 10, you can combine these into a spreadsheet with two separate tabs and you can take these keywords and use them in step three and four of our process. For step number three, we're going to start putting these keywords to use in our listings. So you have three main places you can put these keywords, your titles, your bullet points, and your backend search terms. For the title, you want to keep your most important keywords there because Amazon takes title keywords very seriously. You also want to keep it presentable, which means no keyword stuffing. You have to have a title that reads well and looks presentable. You can't have random misspellings in your title to use them as keywords. You can't have random languages in your title to try to rank organically for those keywords either. You have to keep it super presentable and only keep your most important keywords that you're actively trying to rank for there. Now, when it comes to the bullet points, you have more liberty to add keywords. One, because you have more room and more text to fit these keywords into. And two, because not everyone reads the bullet points. So you can use it to appeal to the algorithm more than the human. This doesn't mean that you can use text that's grammatically incorrect or text that's not readable or text that's not convincing. It just means that you have more room to add more keywords in and you can add some of your lower volume and lower priority keywords into there and still index for them. Finally, for the backend search terms, you can do whatever you want. You can include misspellings. You can be grammatically incorrect. You can include Spanish keywords. You can do whatever you want because no one's going to read it. So anything that's not going to make it into your title or bullet points can be put into the backend search terms. Now for the fourth and final step, we're going to start setting up some PPC campaigns to start boosting our product listings and rank higher and higher organically. The campaigns we're going to set up are going to be sponsored product exact match campaigns with one keyword per campaign, a high budget per campaign, a high top of search placement boost, and high bids for the keywords. The reason we set it up this way is because we want to get as much traction on these keywords as possible. One, because we want new data about our CTR and CVR, both for ourselves to see how much we were able to improve it and for Amazon to see that our listing is performing better now. And two is to artificially create high sales volume for those keywords to signal to Amazon that we're a good product for this keyword and that they should probably increase our organic rank. Now, this is the final step 
of the four step process. Once you set this up, all that's left to do is tracking. For tracking, I like to keep it nice and simple. I just use an Excel sheet where I maintain a list of all of the keywords I'm trying to rank for and my organic rank for them every two weeks to see if I'm improving or not over time. Once you have that set up, you just want to invest more money into the keywords you're making progress on and cut back on the keywords that just aren't working out. Over time, you want to start pushing the keywords you're making progress on more and cutting back on the ones where you're not making any gains that you could use your budget more efficiently. All right, guys, that's it for my four-step process. I hope you found it useful. If you need help with SEO, PPC, catalog, listing content, or anything else, please reach out at www.aihello.com. I'll be happy to take a call with you and run you through what we offer. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day.